Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to install web terminal on your Linux system, right? So it's a very nice terminal terminal emulator with some very cool features, which was initially supported for only Macintosh, but now there is support for Debian Linux. So let's see how to install it. So in case you're on Ubuntu or Debian, you can just go in dev. In case you're on Red Hat, you can just go with RP and there are also support for other forms. Right, so there's Macintosh support and then the different Linux variants. Okay, so let's install this. So I'll just click on this and then it's going to download it for us. As you can see it here, you can see by download history, I've been trying it out and out. And then to install it, just come back to your terminal and just go with sudo. I'll just go with sudo, then dash uh, dpkg dash i, right? And then the name, right? So, so this is it. And then you can just install it to so ask me for my password and then you can see that it's already installed, right? Perfect. This is one way you can install it. You can also use sudo apt install the executable version and then just go with what so you can also use this option. Either this option, which is what I prefer, or this one. Okay, so let's see how it works. So I'll go back again to what and then once you do that, it's going to first of all ask you for to sign up, right? So why are you signing up? Because there are some features that you need that you require a sign up, right? Such as the web drive, the storage of the workflows and the AI support you may need to sign up. So they are not going to track what you are typing inside the command. Command. You can check the privacy settings for all this information if you want, right? Okay. Just like you use GitLab and GitHub. So it's a very nice experience. And after that, you can now sign up right and they're going to send you a link perfect so let's see how it looks like so this is how it looks like so by default once you start it up it's going to give you your prompt right the normal prompt as well as the web prompt you can choose between them so let's explore it so the first thing you could see that we have the command palette right which is like vs code so you can just go with my uh, control shift p and you have my command palette in which i can search for something so settings Right, you can see the different things I can search for, let's say prompt, edit prompt, you can change the prompt to different types of prompt and some very various features, right? So out of the box, which is very cool, right? That is very nice. And then you can also do the command search in which you can search for a particular command, it's control R, right? You can search for a particular command or the command I've been typing and then for favorite commands like free. So these are all the commands you can see that I always use, right? all these very nice commands I've been using within my history, which is very, very nice, right? If I go with this one and I click on this, you can see the result here. Perfect. The nice thing about uh, WAP is that I can also, if I go with uh, ls-la, right, it gives me some auto suggestions, as you can see. If I click on it, you can see the option here in which, of which one to select, right? And then see the option is also given. And this is it. And this is so nice, right? This auto suggestion is so nice. There is also the option of filtering through this, right? It's the interesting books of filtering through this. So in case I want to filter through this, I can just come back again to the uh, filter here. And then I can filter by pattern or by just the word, right? So I can search for something like, let's say, uh, uh, batch. I go with BA. You can see that it's returning some result. If I go with uh, something like chain lit, you see that it's selecting, which is very cool, right? Which is a very, very nice feature. You can also do pattern search. So I can just switch and then give it a particular pattern. So something that start with uh, dot PDF or something. So slash dot PDF, so see what I did, dot PDF. Right, you can also do pattern search as, as, you, as, as you want. Okay, so that is something nice about the filter output block. Very cool. Now let's see how to modify our team. So in case you want to modify it, you can just go back to the settings. And then with the settings, you can see that I'm logged in already with my account. And then you can see the various things. So in case I want to change the team, I come back to the appearance. You can select different teams. So there is the dark team, favorite. There's the light team. There is uh, dark Dracula, solarize, solarize, light, anyhow you want. Right, so I'll prefer prefer the dark team. Okay, you can also add or add your own team to it, right? Very cool. 
so many features and then i can also change the prompt type so the default prompt is i'm using a web prompt but in case i want to change the prompt to a different prompt so a different prompt so this is the one that we have i can also use my default uh, prompt so if i click on this one and i call save now it's going to be using my default prompt because that does change right Let's change it to my default prompt, which is similar to the prompt we have here. My PS1 prompt, right? This particular prompt, you can see it here. Yeah, same thing. So if I clear off this, because that's the same prompt, is the same thing that we are seeing, seeing here, right? Perfect. So this is my PS1 prompt. I can go back again to uh, Ctrl Shift P, and then I go to settings. And then we can see that's very nice. I can go back again to the appearance, and I can change the prompt to the web prompt right save very cool so that is the different prompt then we can also have different paints that you can also do you can also have the different uh, options for the block in which you can position the what you are typing in at the top or at the bottom very cool you can also change the terminal font from different fonts i can change it to hack default because it's changing here you can change it to free mono so this is okay <laughs> there is also mono go and there is also hack so you prefer this one you can change the font size and the line space or you can just use all available system prompt very nice okay so that is for the appearance there are some other, other features too you can also change as you wish there's the option of sharing block there's option of having your own seeing all the keyboard commands and then you can also have team in which you can create a team so let's create a team like uh, jcaris tech let's make this one capital c and then i can create a team and i can just give this link for people to join this team right which is very very cool so in case you want to join this team you can join the team right this is a very nice feature for collaboration which is very nice right you have seen my email yeah but yeah don't worry it's the same name okay so don't spam me that is some very nice thing so if i close it here you can see that i have my jcaris tech team here right and you can i can add people to it i can just uh, send this link out for people to join which is very cool and then you can do some interesting stuff right and there is also workflows workflows are what you use most of the time so that is why you need the account so that it is stored per the user right very nice which is very cool there is also web drive in which you can save share and organize your commands that you have been using as a workflow very cool this is so nice right this is so nice okay so let's go back again to p and then let's go back to the settings so where are we with the settings we are at appearance we have seen the team and there's also subshells you can also create different commands and there is the nice thing about the privacy right as i was talking about you can't you can check them out as you want there is the option of a uh, secret reduction in which if I type in a password or some sensitive information, it is redacted. Very cool. So you can switch it on, which is very nice. You can also tell it to be a custom reduction, your own pattern. Very, very cool. The nice thing about the app is that you can also see the network logs. For example, like as it is connecting or communicating with external service, you can click on this one. And then you can see the logs, which is very, very cool, right? To show the network loss of all communication from what to any server endpoint. Very nice. So this I have to tell them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Very cool. So that is WAP for you. Very, very nice. You can see the commands that are being made. Perfect. Okay. We are finished with the session. Now let's see some other stuff you can also do with the stuff, right? So if I clear off this, I can split screen which is important so i can split to the left have one screen here i can type in one command here ls and then uh, top here and then i can click on it toggle split another pane so split down very cool i can expand it as i wish i think it's here oh my mouse is misbehaving yeah, but there are a lot of cool stuff you can also do right up and down as you can see and then i can also go this way right very, very nice and you can close them as you wish this is so cool right so so you can customize it at you as you as much as you want 
let's see the AI support, right? So there is also the web AI, which is here. If I go back to the web AI, I can just say how to check, check uh, uh, Linus specs, uh, system specs. So let's see, so this, how to check, so it's going to check it out check it through it or you can just yeah and this was wrong so to ask the ai right you have to go with the hashtag i forgot yeah the, the hashtag and then you can just ask how to or you can just say as you saw it here replace string in a file or show memory free memory and then this is going to Give you the command right which is very cool super cool right so this is one command which is true this works this works right very very nice if i click on this i can just go with this and then you see the memory here right this is so nice you can also ask it some questions here so how to show linus specs okay. and now it's going through it there are lots of things you can do right wow this is so cool right i'm not using any uh, API key or something, right? Because I have given my email and stuff. I'm getting all of this and I can just copy the, the command. This is what I want. And then I can paste it in. Or there's, you can copy, you can execute, right? Or you can also save it as workflow, which is very good. So if I click on this, so now the command is here and then we have it out. Very, very nice, right? Very cool. And for every day you have about um, 100 requests per a day, right? So I've made five requests now. So it's left with 100, which is okay, right? Very cool, perfect. So that is some very nice thing about what? So useful, so nice, so cool. There are lots of things you can explore. You can also open the tabs here and also modify the color for the tab, right? In case you want to give it a different color, you can also do all of these things, right? Very cool. And this is the web drive with the my information right i can modify it and then do some stuff so thank you for watching see you in the next lesson in case you want to sp help you can check the link below i have a referral link here to up so that you can also check it out so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed